This program is made possible by... 46% of non-retirees believe they can't afford to retire. American Senior Benefits agents help retirees find solutions, aiding your journey to retirement and financial security. More at wichita.americanseniorbenefits.com. Moving can be stressful. Whether your move is local or long distance, two men in a truck can help. More at twomen.com. Are you a wartime veteran ages 73 to 85? Did you know there are new rules that may affect your pension? Don't lose out on benefits you deserve. Our team serves you because you've served us. Contact Long-Term Care for Veterans today. King Senior Solutions, educating clients and offering solutions for Medicare beneficiaries. Personally selecting the plan that fits your needs. More at kingseniorsolutions.com. King Senior Solutions supports KPTS. I'm Katherine Ambrose, and this is Empowering Seniors. Today, we're starting a two-part series with Mitzi Beach. She's been a local interior designer for 30 years and a certified aging and place specialist. It's made up a long part of her career, and it's perfect for our show. Welcome, Mitzi, and thank you, thank you for having us in your gorgeous oh, home. I'm loving being here. I love talking about aging in place, interior design, anything that empowers seniors or all people. Very good. Well, and you've written a beautiful book, Design Smarts, mm -hmm. Inspiration for mm -hmm. Home Plus Life. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about that. The reason I wrote the book is because in all of my design projects, I am observing major faux pas that would accelerate the quality of their living, but also the safety and the function. So what does one do when you have a message? You write a book. Very good. And it's an, it's an awesome book. And you can find out more about Mitzi on MitziBeach.com. And her book is available on Amazon. And mm -hmm. I know local bookstore is already carrying it here, Watermark. Yes. And um, so part one, we're going to talk about the home. We're going to mm -hmm. talk about safety primarily. Yes. So share with us some of your thoughts All on right. spaces. I would, that's, that's really my passion. I believe that everyone deserves a safe home, whether you're 2 or 82. Mm -hmm. And major uh, accidents happen in the home. Most accidents happen in the home, especially for those over 65. The statistics are daunting. And by simple uh, ad ad acknowledging how one can make your home safer can save time, money, pain, and losing out on life. So my theory is, why would you not want to do an upgrades? And I'm not talking about remodeling your whole kitchen or your whole home. We talk in the we write in the book mm -hmm. about how one can do simple upgrades to make profound difference in your life. Awesome. Well, let's hear about that, Mitzi. What are some of your top tips for the home? And since we're standing in your gorgeous kitchen, maybe share with us some of your thoughts on kit on the kitchen. Okay. First off, I think that having a microwave over the oven is uh, should be against code. It's a huge safety thing. If you have something on the pot, cook, on the stove cooking, a pot, mm -hmm. and then you reach up to get something out of the microwave, that's an accident waiting to happen. And as one ages, they may have arthritis, they may have weaker uh, wrists, and that's even a more hazard-ish mm -hmm. you know, statement. So um, then function also goes with safety. Uh, when things function well, they are safer. Uh, they're safer. I don't know many people that don't have aching backs. Right. So we do stovetops rather than drop-in ranges and use wall ovens so that ergonomically you're not reaching down, picking up a heavy pan or cookie sheets. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just ergonomically not the best for us. So if you have the option to have a wall oven rather than a drop-in range, yes. that... Yes. can be safer and just yes. feel better. 
it makes sense to me about the microwaves. Yeah. And I think sometimes in new home construction, um, there are decisions that are made and become kind of common practice that aren't always the safest. Well, and it's what we've done always. This is the way we've always done it. We keep doing it. Uh, a solution to that issue is to have a microwave on the counter mm -hmm. or a drawer microwave. But for people to know and talk to your builder, talk to your developer, talk to your remodeler, or if you're a DIY, ding, 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 mm -hmm. think about that. Well, and people might be thinking that it's an upgrade to put that microwave in when, in fact, maybe they're better off with one on the counter. Right. Let's talk about countertops. Yes. Counter space and just um, yes, that's clear a big space thing. in general. Yes, Catherine, you're exactly right to bring that up. Clutter is a huge safety issue. And a lot of people, regardless of age, mm -hmm. use their kitchen as an office, storage, mail, and maybe a little food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but we want to keep, and obviously this kitchen right now is a little sterile because we're moving. Mm -hmm. um, but I have a minimum of things out because I am a cook. I'm a healthy cook, but I keep it free uh, of a lot of clutter. It's probably a lot more inviting to think about cooking if your space is clear. And you were talking about you categorize the storage. All yes. right, so A, B, and C. So tell yes. us about that. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to talk to clients or family about. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we're seeing people use their A storage. That's what is ergonomically closest to you, the most mm -hmm. handy for you. And if I open someone's cabinet, I will see that for things hardly ever used. Mm -hmm. um, very, and, and so it doesn't make any sense, but that's why they have a lot of clutter. So I do A, B, C. Mm -hmm. uh, a spaces are those that you're really using, and that's where you put your dishes, or it's, it's such common sense, but we get lost sometime in how we're using our spaces. Uh, B, you're using it more, maybe your toaster, uh, things that you do every day, but they don't have to be right there, but they're easy to get to. Okay. C would be in your kitchen, things like your waffle iron, How mm -hmm. if you have one, or your griddle, or whatever that is. That mm -hmm. doesn't even have to be in your kitchen. I bet most people use those every few months. Right. And it takes up a lot of A space. Okay. And that causes clutter because you don't know where to put things. All right, so think about your prime space for your A stuff. Mm -hmm. B might be a little further away. Mm -hmm. That's the stuff you don't need as mm -hmm. often. And your C stuff doesn't even, maybe even need to be in the kitchen. Right, So right. really think about how to preserve your A space. Right. All right, talk about flooring and flooring surfaces. I know that that is That's a biggie a, in interior design. It is, and uh, carpeting is kind of the stepchild right now. We're not using a lot of carpeting, but especially we don't want carpeting in the kitchen or the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Very rarely do we see that anymore, but that is one of the least expensive ways to upgrade your home. There's no way to clean carpet um, to make it sanitary if it's in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So um, enough about that, but uh, it doesn't have to be hard surface like tile in the kitchen. It can be uh, cork, it can be engineered wood, it can be real wood, mm -hmm. but anything that is non-slippery. We don't want okay. shiny surfaces. And something that's very washable. Yes, and easy upkeep. Mm -hmm. All of us are busy. No one wants to have things that are high maintenance. So Lighting. So uh, you put a lot of thought into this kitchen and the kitchen you're moving into. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's talk about lighting and your choices on coloring in here. All right. Uh, I, lighting is probably the highest priority from the first thing I address. And uh, it's probably the thing I battle with clients and builders um, the most because we never have enough lighting. And that's why we have dimmers. Mm -hmm. So we get at 50 years of age, we need four to five times the lighting we need when we're 20 because our corneas are different, they're more yellow, we need a lot more lighting. Most homes have not upgraded their lighting at all. So uh, that's probably where the money should go, is in lighting. Okay. Um, it causes stress, it causes accidents, it causes shadows. 
So under counter lighting in a kitchen is reasonable and that's probably the number one thing I would recommend. The lighting, the flooring, the ergonomics, the function. Hitting those in whatever room it is will put you at a level that is much safer mm -hmm. and, and more pleasant to live in. Those, those are the biggies. And so how important is it to design your home environment to be pleasant to live in? What does clutter do and what do the, you know, when it's just not pleasant, what does that do for it, us? Um, there's um, a term that we really aren't familiar with often for most people. It's called visual clutter and it's visual stress. It takes you, uh, we don't realize that our eyes and whatever we see goes into our brain going ding, 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 ding. And it's like being at a buffet and you have all these little dishes and you're like, what do I do? What do I see? And then you go to the end and there's roast beef or a ham and it's a relief because it's, you don't have to see all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And if you transfer that to your home mm -hmm. to have it be less visually demanding, that's why it's so stressful. Mm -hmm. There's too much to take in and consider. We don't have a choice about that. That's how our brain is. What it sees, it has to register. Very good. Well, that makes a lot of sense to me. Mm -hmm. So let's go and talk about your bathroom. I know okay. you put a lot of good aging in place things in here yes. that don't necessarily look like aging in place. Right. So I can't wait to share with our audience about right. Design Smarts for the Bath. All right. Let's do it. This is what an aging in place bathroom looks like. It can be beautiful as long as it is safe. More accidents happen in the bathroom than any other place in the home. So we're going to talk about the main features. And the one is this cute little tub. It may look cute, but it's extremely functional because one can sit, transfer in. It can be in the tub. It can sit on the ledge, but the handheld is very important in this tub. The shower over here has no curb or no step. It's called a zero entrance. The reason this shower is like it is, is that it has no step, no curve, is because if you wanted to roll in a wheelchair or a walker, that is, if you have a curb, it makes it almost impossible. Okay. And so there are much higher level, more sophisticated drains now if it's a curbless zero entry shower. But in 206, when we did this, this is what was available. But I have to say, it works really good. Uh, everyone loves this shower, no matter what age they are. Um, it can be very uh, functional and the water does not come out. So one of the main things, if you can at all do a curbless shower, it's highly recommended. Handrails are a must. I don't care what the age you are. Um, a lot of people get dizzy bending over, standing up and going, you know, it's, it's just a good thing. Um, the floor is intentional. People that have any uh, eye issues, especially macular degeneration, mm -hmm. they cannot see where the wall and the floor start and stop. So this is why there is a row of blue tile. Uh, my, mother, my late mother-in-law really appreciated this. And the sink is open in the bottom. There's no vanity. And so one can roll up in a wheelchair or they can also be in a walker. My grandchildren loved this sink. They had a little stool under there and they just thought it was just for them. Uh, lighting is very important in the bathroom. Again, most acts, a lot of accidents happen because one cannot see. Mm -hmm. And so uh, have more than you think you're going to need. Flooring is non-slippery. This is a tile floor, which is the most practical for a bathroom, but it's also not, it's, it's a matte finish. It, any floor is slippery when it's wet, but it's really slippery if it's shiny. So um, those are the main things. But as you look at this bathroom, you will see that it does not look like we're in a hospital or a medical facility. Anything can look good and beautiful and be safe. That's the main thing I, I love for people to know.
you would never know. It was designed to be aging in place. And I know you mentioned your grandkids have loved that bathtub. Yes. And I love your and, handrails. Yes. And these, uh, in 206, when we did our home and gutted it to make it an aging in place home, we didn't, you know, um, we want to say they're handrails, not grab bars. Mm -hmm. Boom, you know. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it's just a new phrase. Um, so these are acrylic instead of having the, the the metal, whatever that might be. But now they're gorgeous. They can be acrylic and colors and all kinds of different finishes. Um, if you're remodeling, you mm -hmm. want to do blocking in the wall before you sheetrock for okay. the stability. But now they even have them that they're like a molly bolt and they go into the sheetrock mm -hmm. and they will be secure. It's just like how many times do you see towel bars that come loose from the wall mm -hmm. because our sheetrock doesn't have as much pulp in it as it used to. And if someone went to grab a towel, a yeah. towel rod that would come loose, that could... They would certainly do that with mm -hmm. a grab bar or a handrail. Well, I love it. It's just as cute as can be and I'm so happy we could show it off. In that last segment with Mitzi, we talked a lot about bathroom safety. Let's dig into that a little deeper with my guest, Bonnie Holman. Bonnie is a certified aging in place specialist and has a passion for making spaces accessible and friendly for her clients to better enjoy their lives. Bonnie, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. So share with us what aging in place means and that designation that you and Mitzi both have, Certified Aging Place Specialist, um, what, what all that entailed? Certified Aging in Place Specialist means that we've taken classes okay. and passed the test um, to say that we learned what, we, what the intent was in the classes so that we could become certified. But the actual, the actual activity that follows that is um, the ability to design for people with special needs, basically, whether okay. that's mobility, vision, hearing, um, any of those kinds of things. So a lot goes into that design. Mm -hmm. And when you're designing a home for aging in place so that it will be suitable for long term and comfortable and safe, what are some of the things with regard to the bathroom that you keep in mind? Um, the bathroom has uh, what Mitzi refers to as handrails mm -hmm. and uh, non-slip surfaces. Um, sometimes if it's a, if it's a wheelchair-bound person, uh, that can involve even some cabinetry and those kinds of things. So, Bonnie, in um, accessibility for bathrooms and planning for aging in place, what are some of the things that you keep in mind as a designer? Um, accessibility, ergonomics, the handrails, uh, what Mitzi calls handrails, but I call them grab bars, mm -hmm. are one of those things. Um, Non-slip surfaces, uh, height differences, uh, even um, lighting and some visual aspects of that. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about what you mean by visual aspects. Um, one of the main things that sticks out in my mind is a lot of people, if they have a, a visual concern, may need a difference in color, for instance, in the countertop from the floor. In a contrast, for instance, a light colored countertop and a dark colored floor or vice versa, so that if they're sitting an item mm -hmm. on that countertop, they actually see where the edge of it is. Okay. Uh, another visual aspect might be in the lighting. Mm -hmm. um, so many houses are built with the lighting above the mirrors. Uh -huh. instead of to the side of the mirrors mm -hmm. and it it cast a shadow down and so sometimes things are not necessarily uh, well lit plus most contractors or electrical contractors should know the appropriate spacing for can lighting and some of that can lighting can be put in the shower again a shower may even want um, a visual designation in color from from the floor especially if there's a bit of a step up into it. Uh, so like two different colors of flooring mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. the shower and yes. for the, the floor yes. outside the Even shower. Even if there's a bench in that shower, that could be a different color so that the person doesn't miss the bench if they're sitting. I think that probably it's good for all of us if we're planning on aging in place to keep that in mind mm -hmm. uh, because we don't know what may happen or change with our eyesight. And Mitzi mentioned that um, after about 50 years of age that we require a lot more lighting and just mm -hmm. some of those things are gonna just probably happen to all of us where you might go to put something down or mm -hmm. sit on something and it's it's not quite there. Right, <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. well that sounds good. Yeah. So I was 
fascinated by the idea that a home should be safe whether you're 2 or 82 Absolutely. and some of the safety items that she put into this particular bathroom. And so I'm glad that you um, brought us some samples that we can talk uh -huh. about today. Uh -huh. Looks like you've brought some really cool samples for us to see, so yes. thank you. It's kind of exciting. It is, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so tell us about, about these choices. Sure, I have here some grab bars, or what Mitzi calls handrails. And for the most part, when people talk about grab bars or handrails, they envision the plain stainless steel ones, which have been the quintessential mm -hmm. you know, standard product. Mm -hmm. that you can get but there are some other fun options that can make your home a little bit more decorative and one of those would be for instance the oil rub bronze it allows if you've got oil rub bronze metals in your home this mm -hmm. allows you to to match your grab bars to your to the rest of the metals in your home um, also on the decorative scale is this one which is great fun this one is, um, it's shown in shocker colors today, if you That's happen great. to be a shocker fan, but it's available in a wide variety of colors as in the swatch kit there. Okay. Um, and I think that Miss, Miss Mitzi had uh, white. White acrylic. Uh -huh, white and acrylic. I think, I think hers were a little bigger. She said that Probably. she put hers in in 2006 uh -huh. and that there, there's a wider variety out there now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And um, you know, being in real estate, I can tell you, I don't recall seeing anything like this in any homes. And I definitely saw the benefit in her bathroom of having those. And um, I don't know if it was you, but someone said that by the time you know you need a grab bar, it's too late. Mm -hmm. And so getting those grab bars in can be a really smart decision. Mm -hmm. So Bonnie, you mentioned that handrails maybe aren't just for bathrooms, that they could be anywhere. Mm -hmm. And now you've brought flooring samples uh, to talk about. And so these are samples that could be this type of flooring could be put in a bathroom or mm -hmm. anywhere. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, bathroom, family room, living room with an area rug or something. Although area rugs are, can be a little dangerous for, mm -hmm. for people who are aging. Um, but these floorings happen to be LVT or luxury vinyl tile. Okay. And these come in different kinds of formats based on how they're to be installed. But you can see that these have some texture in them and mm -hmm. so they provide a little anti-slip Okay. type thing. Mm -hmm. um, they're pretty affordable okay. um, as, as flooring goes and um, some of those different ways of, of having those installed are some of them, like for instance this one, the, the wood grain one, mm -hmm. it looks like real wood but it's vinyl. Yeah, it might be um, hard to tell. It, I mean, it is, it is. Sometimes when I'm in homes for, for real estate, sometimes I have to really bend down and look closely or uh -huh, even feel uh -huh, it. Yeah, this one happens to be a floating floor, which okay. requires no adhesive. Okay. So if there if there's a concern with asthma or some um, breathing conditions, mm -hmm. that would be a good option. Okay, because um, it can kind of encapsulate um, the flooring underneath mm -hmm. and just provide a new fresh surface. Right. And you'll be able to keep it clean. Mm -hmm. It may require an underlayment depending on okay. what is underneath there. But it's a good option if there is a, a lung or health concern regarding the breath. Mm -hmm. okay. um, this one is a peel and stick. Okay. And actually, you just peel off the backer and stick it in place, and you have to be very accurate with it. But then there, there are the luxury vinyl tiles, too, that um, some of them look like a ceramic tile like this mm -hmm. one. Some of them look just like a, a stone or a tumbled um, a tumbled sandstone or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and the other option for adhe adhesion is um, actual adhesive. Okay. Now the floating is a little bit less, ex more expensive, mm -hmm. but the, um, the one that you adhere with actual adhesive is a little less, but then you have your cost of adhesive, so it's kind of a wash Okay. in affordability. And then would going to some type of ceramic tile or um, installed wood floor be kind of the next step up and I would imagine that there are different varieties so you could mm -hmm. could get that also in a non-slip. Yes and if you went with a ceramic or a porcelain tile I would suggest again get one with texture Okay. because some of them can become very slick if they're just a smooth surface particularly if they're a glazed surface instead of a matte 
surface. And so, um, which could be dangerous really for anyone be, of any age. That's right. Little children running that's right. and uh, just out of the bathtub and yeah. a towel, very dangerous. And also what's underfoot, um, sometimes as you step into a shower, mm -hmm. if you have that shower pan or the shower floor have something with texture, even small tile with grout. Um, and you know, the trend is getting away from that, but sometimes that's a safer option or putting your rubber ducky stickers Okay. In your shower or even your bathtub as you step in. Okay. There is also a spray on non slip that you can mask off. You could even create a stencil, the shape of what you're doing. Oh, that's and interesting. And spray that on. Yeah. Okay. And so there are lots of options to protect the upright person. <laughs> well, I can picture that. I think that sounds really interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for bringing these in. I think that you're helps welcome. to know that. Um, there's a wide variety of choices, more than ever, mm -hmm. and that it can be very affordable to install these safety measures mm -hmm. in your home. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Well, Bonnie, thank you for being here at the studio today and adding to our conversation so that we could go a little deeper on all of these. We uh, really appreciate it. I'm delighted to have been here. Thank you. Great information. Any Good. final thoughts to pass on for spaces? Sure. I love having this opportunity to share aging in place, but I really want to emphasize that an aging in place home does not have to look aging in place. Safety, beauty, ergonomics can live very nicely together. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And again, if you'd like more information about Mitzi Beach, you can check that out on MitziBeach.com. And we appreciate you tuning in, and we'll see you next time. This program is made possible by... 46% of non-retirees believe they can't afford to retire. American Senior Benefits agents help retirees find solutions aiding your journey to retirement and financial security. More at wichita.americanseniorbenefits.com. Moving can be stressful. Whether your move is local or long distance, two men in a truck can help. More at twomen.com. Are you a wartime veteran ages 73 to 85? Did you know there are new rules that may affect your pension? Don't lose out on benefits you deserve. Our team serves you because you've served us. Contact Long-Term Care for Veterans today. King Senior Solutions, educating clients and offering solutions for Medicare beneficiaries. Personally selecting the plan that fits your needs. More at kingseniorsolutions.com. King Senior Solutions supports KPTS.